British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is making some big changes to his cabinet. This morning, he announced he's bringing back one of his predecessors, former Prime Minister David Cameron, in a new role as Foreign Secretary. Cameron has been out of government since resigning in 2016 after the failed Brexit referendum. The country's controversial far-right Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, was fired early this morning after comments she made over the weekend about the policing of pro-Palestinian protests. The current foreign minister will take her position, clearing the way for Cameron's return. UK political correspondent for the BBC, Rob Watson, joins us now from London. Rob, thanks for joining us. Cameron abruptly resigned after the UK voted to leave the EU. Why bring him back now? I'll answer that in a second, Meg, but to try and get this in some kind of context for you, I mean, it's been a crazy day here. It's as if uh, President Biden had asked uh, uh, Barack Obama to be his secretary of, <laughs> of state. I mean, we've had a lot of crazy days recently in British politics, but this is one of them. I mean, why why has he been brought back? I mean, I think if, if one was not being a very generous commentator, you would say it was sheer desperation from Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Why? Because the opinion polls suggest that the governing conservatives Conservatives are way, way behind and looking at a pretty catastrophic defeat at the next general election. So I think this is part of Mr. Sunak rolling the dice and saying, well, if we bring back Mr. Cameron, maybe it'll look as though we're bringing the party a little bit, the Conservatives, from the right back towards the centre, and that maybe we look a bit less divided over Brexit, because Prime Minister Sunak is a real kind of gung-ho, right-of-centre Brexiteer. Mr. Cameron, quite the opposite. Well, I appreciate the perspective because, like you said, a very crazy day, bold moves going on. What does this morning's cabinet reshuffling say about the prime minister's willingness to take risks? Well, as I say, an, an one of many crazy days here. I, I mean, I think it says that, that he's in a very, very difficult spot. I mean, I, I guess if you were being ungenerous, you would say desperate. If you were being a fan of Mr. Sunak's, he would, you would say, yep, yeah, bold, uh, yes, risky. And, and again, it's about the Conservatives being so far behind in the opinion polls. And what's risky about turning to David Cameron is that he is a profoundly divisive figure within the Conservative Party. And you've already got, you know, those on the right of the party who are very strong supporters of Brexit saying, hang on a minute, what the hell are we bringing this guy back for? He's the guy <laughs> who was in favour of remaining in the European Union. And actually, beyond that, if part of what Mr Sunak's plan is, is to sort of make the Conservatives look a bit less right-wing and appeal to some of those voters who wanted to remain in the EU, the, the problem is a lot of those voters, you know, they don't like David Cameron very much. They blame him for the whole referendum in 2016 and for the mess, as they would see it, that the UK is in. So it's definitely bold. I mean, whether it'll pay off, is quite another matter. Well, do you think Cameron brings a sense of stability at all to his cabinet? Well, I think he certainly brings a, a, a lot of experience and he will have great contacts. He'll be on first name terms with an awful lot of world leaders. But as I say, he also brings this vast amount uh, of political baggage, all of it going back to the Brexit referendum, where you know, a vast chunk of the people in this country blame him for the, the mess following the decision to leave. And an awful lot of conservatives on the right who just love Brexit and think, come on, bring it on. They're saying, hang on a minute, it looks like a coup having uh, David Cameron back. All right, Rob Watson, we appreciate you taking the time on this unprecedented day to sit down with us. Thank you.